Hello you all, welcome back to another video. My name is Rayshawn. For those of you who don't know me, people call me Ray. So in today's video, I will be giving you a makeup tutorial on this look right here. Um, this is the look that I came up with. I really like the way my makeup came out. Um, yes, I have another tutorial for you all, but this is gonna be, still gonna be a fun video. And also too, you know, I hope that you're getting something from these full face videos because Typically, a lot of people on YouTube nowadays, they don't do full faces all the time. They kind of speed through them. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then make sure that you keep on watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so now. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining my team or joining my YouTube fam here. Um, I do appreciate you all. I hope that you're enjoying the content so far. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then make sure you keep on watching without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into it so for my eyeshadow today i will be using the morphe x jacqueline hill palette this is the first palette that they came out with this is how it looks so for my first shade i want to go in with i'm going to take this this shade is called Jax. I'm gonna place it all over my crease. So now that we have that shade, that's the first shade. I believe for the second shade, hmm. So for my second shade, I wanna go in with this color right here. I basically hit pan, but this is the color that um, I wanna go in with. This color is called Chip. Just to kind of build up a little bit. I don't know exactly what it is I'm going to be doing, but here we are. I'm so for my next shade, I want to go in with this color right here. The color is called Central Park. So I'm going to take that and placing it in my crease. I just want to deepen up my crease a bit more. So I'm going to be taking a different brush to do that. Your girl is definitely rolling out the content. I'm like, yes. I'm like, let me keep up the good work. You know, give my little, give myself a little small pep talk. I'm like, keep up the good work, Rayshawn. Going back in with that first shade. I'm gonna blend out the edges of this color. All right. So this is how we are looking so far. So far, so good, right? So now we are going to move on to the, we're gonna move on to the lid shade. Um, let's see, what, what are we gonna do? I don't wanna be, I don't wanna, I mean, I wanna be bold. Every time I say I'm not gonna be bold, I tend to go bold. Um, but I'm so tempted to go in with this purple shade, even though it has nothing to do with my ensemble. But I kind of want to go into the shade because it's different. I think I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This shade is called Silk Cream. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to place this on my lid. Kind of want to have something a little bit more neutral. Hopefully it's light enough because I do want it to be light. So I'm hoping that it comes out, comes off lighter. This is why I love this palette, y'all. For real. Hold on, because let's talk about it. This is why I love this palette. Like, when Jaclyn Hill come out with her palette, it's over. It's it's over. When I say I'm going to get the palette by the grace of God, because, you know, I can't just be talking like that. 
But when I say I'm going to get the palette, I'm going to get the palette, okay? When Jaclyn Hill come out with a palette, I'm picking it up. Because the palettes that she's come out with with Morphe, they're really good. Super pigmented, like, super pigmented. I mean, I could have put down like a base first and then put this down, but I was being lazy once again. Actually, I just moved kind of fast and I wasn't thinking about it until I started to put down the color. But all in all, it's still showing up really nicely. So I'm going to just blend out the edges of this eyeshadow. This looks really good. I'm impressed. I really like the way this look. I really like the way this look. It looks, it looks good. I mean, I can't even fake the front, front the fake, fake the funk, but it looks good. So now I'm going to be using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner to line my eyes. Just in case you guys probably like, what liner do you use? This is what I use. Okay, we had a little, a little struggling, but you know, she good or whatever. So. So now I'm gonna be taking my lashes. These are my 3D Mink, I always say full length lashes um, that you can check out on my website at oraybeauty.com. I do have two styles, which is this one, which is so high, and then I have another style, which is a Glamour Girl. Glamour Girl is the style I wear a lot. It's super duper full, fluffy, full, everything, drama, all that. And then I also have these right here. These are the so high lashes. I've showed you guys these before. Um, these are also fluffy full, but not as thick and tight as um, Glamour Girl. So this is how it looks. I'm going to put some mascara on and I'm going to put my lashes on. All right, you all. So now we're moving on to the face. So for my face, I want to use a different primer today. And I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. This is it right here. This is the Long Wear Foundation Preps Smooth and Perfect Primer. So we're gonna be using this today for the primer. And with the primer, you don't need a lot at all. You don't need a lot of primer, you just need a little bit. So for my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is it here. This one is in the shade 560W. Cause I want kind of a healthy glowy look. I did do my skincare. I did do my skincare. So my skin looks and feels a lot better. If I do say so myself. So now I'm gonna take this huge body blender from Sonya Kashuk and I'm just gonna blend out my foundation. Now, Real Technique have a body blender sponge, but it ain't even this big. It's big, but it ain't this bigger. I thought that was big until I seen this one. Okay, so for my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Retouch Concealer. This is it right here. Um, this one is in the shade number 20. And I'm going to be using it for underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, everywhere. You guys remember I told you, you have to use this concealer. You have to blend it out quick. I don't know if I told you guys, but I felt like this concealer was definitely drying when I used it. Um, I felt like it looked dry on my face, if that makes sense. And so I'm just giving it another chance because I'm hoping that me blending it out faster than I did the first time in that video that it will look better. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to give it another chance because I do feel like 
I do feel like it looked dry in that video underneath my eyes because when I put my powder on, my powder looked like it was extremely dry. And that powder, I didn't have that issue with that powder when I used my other concealers, so. For my contour, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick, and this one is in the shade Ebony to Cream Contour. I plan on doing a, um, a, a, it's not a TikTok, but I plan on doing a reel today. So hopefully I'm able to find something that I like and now I can do a reel. Cause I always say in order to do like a TikTok, you have to have some kind of acting skills. Like you cannot be like bland and boring and offbeat and you know, awkward. I mean, you could be awkward, but like you have to have some kind of like personality because it's not gonna come off authentic. You know what I'm saying? And I can honestly say it was really fun doing that reel yesterday. It was so fun. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram at O Ray Beauty, O underscore Ray Beauty. I'm going to be taking the NYX Makeup Sweet Cheeks blush right here. And this one is in the shade Bombshell. This is the Soft Cheek Tint Blush, which... So to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this one is in the shade Honey. I'm going to set underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, like everywhere I put my concealer. It looks good. Like the first time I used this concealer, I can tell that it was um, dry. Uh, and it looked dry. I guess I had it sitting way too long. But with this concealer, you don't need to have it sitting long at all all you have to do literally is put it on and blend it out and the concealer is thick enough that you'll have coverage even if you don't wait you'll still get coverage so you don't have to worry about that you want to make sure that you wet your sponge before you place the powder from underneath like if you have dry under eyes make sure that your sponge is damp my sponge is always damp it just helps for a better application. I need to ask so it don't look too, too drying. Um, that's basically it. All right, so to set the rest of my makeup, I'm going to be taking my One Size Beauty Powder. This is the One Size Beauty Ultimate Setting Powder by Patrick Star, And I'm going to use this to set my full face. This is how the powder looks. I'm going to be taking my Makeup Revolution um, Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. This is it right here. And I'm going to be using this to contour and bronze my face. So for my blush, I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Palette. Volume one, this is it right here. So now I'm going to set my makeup with the Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Mist. This is it right here.
So now I'm just going to take them same shades that I used in the palette um, at the top of my eyes. I'm going to put them down underneath the bottom of my eyes just to add some balance because sometimes I don't like my, my, my eye to be so top heavy. So... So now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This is in 100 Molten Gold. This is it here. Highlight just really adds to the look. It just really like amplifies the look. I mean, it really does. I know that some people don't do highlight anymore, or well, never did, but it just really ampl amplifies the look to me. So now I'm gonna take my lip liner in the shade Tuscan Brown to line my lips. Make sure you try my lip liners at oraybeauty.com. These lip liners are very smooth. They're very pigmented. They glide on very easily and they don't tug on the lips. They do come in four different shades. So make sure you check that out. I'm going to take this NYX lingerie lip gloss right here and put this on my lips. This one is in a shade called Spirit. I'm fine. I'm gonna take my gloss, it's called No Shade. All right, you all, so this is the finished look. I hope that you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I wanted to come on here and do something slightly different, but I wanted to come on here and give you another makeup tutorial. I hope that you all are learning something from these makeup tutorials because literally I'm doing the same things all of the time. I might be switching it up slightly, so hopefully you're picking up some tips and some tricks on how to do your makeup. Um, I really like my eyes. They're really nice. Definitely fall appropriate and still even now in season. Um, I love my hair, my whole look. Everything about this makeup, this look and everything just looks so good. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.